A bag contains eight red marbles, nine yellow marbles, and seven green marbles. How many additional red marbles must be added to 24 marbles already in the bag so the probability of randomly drawing a red marble is three-fifths? You will be provided with a paper copy of the test. And so I suggest highlighting, circling, identifying what information is pertinent to answering this question. So we know there's already red marbles in the bag. In fact, there's eight, and it says we need to add to that. And so when we think about a ratio, it's going to be how many are we identifying? Well, we're identifying the red, so we have eight at this time, over the total, which right now we have 24. And it specifically says you're going to have to add additional red marbles. How many is the question? So for every red marble I add, I increase the number on top. And on the bottom, I also increased it by that exact same number because the number on the bottom represents the total. For instance, if I added just one additional red marble, this number would be a one here. So I'd have nine total in the bag and 25 total marbles in the bag. So specific to red, and then this is total. Now we want to know when is this equivalent to three-fifths, which is 60%. There's a couple ways you could go about doing this. Some students will feel most comfortable doing cross multiplication. But the goal is to answer this question in the quickest amount of time. And I believe that some of you can achieve that using a calculator. So what I did is I went ahead and I plugged in the two equations. This is the top equation and here's the bottom. I'm setting them equal. So here's the left side and the right side. And I wanna know when are they equal. That represents the X value I'm trying to solve. So initially, I graph it, I can see they're really close to the x-axis, and I can't tell where they cross. I'm trying to figure out where do the two lines intersect. So I'm going to change the window. I go to the y values, and again, see how close this is to the x-axis. I don't need all the room up top and on the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some random numbers here and go just slightly above the x-axis and slightly below. Again, I want to know where do the two cross, and I can see they're crossing right over here. So I want to change, I want to move this x value, and I'm just going to take an arbitrary number for x. I chose 20, maybe I could try 15 or 25. Oh, and I can see they're crossing right in this region. So how do I figure out exactly where that is? You probably have learned how to do this in your math class, but you're going to hit second and trace and scroll down to where it says intersect. Now the first curve means where to the left do you believe they are crossing? So somewhere to the left of where you believe they cross, and you press enter. The second curve says where to the right. And so it's just allowing you to put up boundaries to the left and right. And then it says guess exactly where you believe they cross. And we're trying to find out that x answer. Remember, x is the unknown variable. And it gives it to me, 16. What does this mean? It means I have to add an additional 16 red marbles, so 16 total marbles added, in order for me to have a ratio of three-fifths in the bag being red. Correct answer is B.